This is setup and installation for the micro display. First, install the CAN server following the instructions, either in the chassis bus or the ODB port. Now, if you just have one micro display, all you need is this USB adapter to plug into the side. Note the red dot that indicates the back and plug into the side of the display. This will have a small USB port on the side where you can plug in the USB cable and plug it into power. When the display powers on, you'll see a welcome screen and then it'll indicate that it's connecting to the CAN server and the display number. If the display successfully connects, you'll see the data. If you're going to install the display in the air vent, just lift up in the air vent a little bit and push it underneath. You can run the cable to the left, if you want, over by the A-pillar and hide it below the dash. Or you can run the USB cable to the right and run it behind the main display and plug it into the console USB port. Another good spot is in the corner of the windshield. You can just place the display there and then you can push the USB cable in between the dash and the A-pillar. That USB cable will actually hold the display in place pretty well. And again, you can run that cable to any USB power. I happen to have a USB port installed in my A-pillar but you can run it underneath toward the center console if you'd like. You could also install it inside the dash crease. Now let's talk about the sideboards, which let you run the accessories from the display. You have a left and a right sideboard, which plug in to the side of the display on the left and right side, respectively. And again, they plug in. Make sure the connectors are facing towards the back. And watch your orientation. The left board has a USB port for plugging in. And there's space for LEDs. And there's a plug on the back for the display, as well as a push button. Now, if you have a bar graph, this can plug into the display with this included cable. Just plug it into the port on the back of the bar graph and then the port on the left or right uh, sideboard. Now you can install the bar graph however you want, but I've included some double stick pads so you can attach it to the front of the sideboard so it lines up in the air vent. Now just plug in USB power and you'll see it test the bar graph as it boots up. Now let's talk about multiple displays. You can plug them in individually, but if you're plugging them together to each other, you have to use this little adapter here. Plug in power and they'll both boot up and you'll see that they show different data. How do they do that? Well, the server's configured to send them different data, but the displays themselves have jumpers to configure them on the back. So let's go through there. If you turn the display around, you'll see in the back there's three jumper positions, one, two, three. If there's no jumper, it's display zero. Putting a jumper on one will set it to display one. And a jumper in two will be display two. In the software of the server, you can pick what data you want to send to which particular display. Now jumper three tells it to connect to the second CAN server on a different Wi-Fi network. So here we've got CAN server two and display one. And what's nice is when you power it up, it actually tells you how it's configured. So here I've plugged in jumper for display one. And when I plug power in, you'll see right after it boots up, it says connecting to CAN server, display number one. We can flip it over to the second position for display two. And when it boots up, display two. And that third jumper position 
tells it to connect to the second CAN server Wi-Fi. So when it boots up, it says, connecting to CAN server 2 and display 0 because there's no jumper in 1 or 2. So once you've got all your sideboards and your accessories plugged together and make sure they're double stick tape, you can install them wherever you'd like. And that includes lifting up on the air vent and pushing them underneath. So hopefully you have all the information now to get your micro displays up and running. If you have any questions, just send me an email.